Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to delete row with confirmation in ASP.NET Grid View Control. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's start. We'll start by adding a Grid View Control. Now I am adding columns to the grid view. I will be adding two bound field columns. First one will be item and the second one will be price. Now our grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. Now I'm adding a namespace system.data. I'll be making use of dynamic data table to populate the grid view. Now inside the page load event handler, I am writing the if not is post back condition. Now first I am creating a data table object. Now I am adding columns to the data table. It will be same columns what we have already defined in the grid view. The grid view can also be populated from database but in this example it is not a requirement and hence I am making use of a dynamic data table. Now I am adding some rows to the data table. Now the rows have been added. Now in order to perform delete operation, I will be making use of view state and hence I will be saving the data table inside a view state object. Now I am creating a function bind grid. Inside this function, I will be populating the grid view using the data table we have saved in the view state. Now I will assign the data table to the grid view and call the data bind method. Now I am calling the bind create function inside the page load event. The population part of the grid view is completed. Now let's run the code and see the grid view. So it is working perfectly and the grid view is displaying data from the dynamic data table. Now let's move back to the ASPX page where I will be adding the delete button. For the delete button, I am making use of command field. I am setting the show delete button property to true. The next property is button type and here I am setting it to button. You can also set it to link button and image button. Now I will be adding two event handlers. The first one is on row data bound event handler. And the second one is on row deleting event handler. So now let's move to the code behind.
So first thing I am defining the on row data bound event handler. So here first I am checking the row type, whether the row type is data row. Now inside this if condition, I am creating a string variable. Inside this string variable, I will be reading the name of the item. In other words, I will be reading the value of the item cell. Now I am executing a for each loop over the buttons inside the grid view cell. Now here I am adding a condition that if the command name of the button is delete, then I'll be adding a JavaScript on click event handler to the button. Now the JavaScript on click event handler will be assigned a JavaScript confirm function. The JavaScript confirm function is used to display a JavaScript confirmation box. The confirmation box present to the user with two options, OK and cancel. So let's say if the user is pressing a delete button, he will see a confirmation box with OK and cancel. And if he presses OK, then the server side code will be executed. And if he presses cancel, then nothing will happen. Here you can see I am displaying a message. Do you want to delete where I am passing the name of the item which we have already fetched to the JavaScript function. The next event handler is on row deleting event handler. This event handler will be executed when the user presses OK inside the confirmation box. Now this particular event handler will actually delete the grid view row. In this case, it will delete the data table row and then update the data table in the view state. Then the data table will be used to populate the grid view. So here now I am first fetching the row index of the grid view row to be deleted. Then I am fetching the data table from the view state object. Now I am referencing the row inside the data table using the index and then deleting it using the delete function. Here the delete operation can also be performed using a database, but since here there is no requirement as such, hence I am making use of view state. The next thing is to update the data table back into the view state object and then call the bind grid function which will again populate the grid view from the view state now the delete part is also completed let's run our code and check it as you can see the grid view is now displaying the delete button and when you click on the delete button you see a confirmation box and when you click ok the row is deleted with this, we come to the end of this video. The demo and the source code links are present in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.